I quite like to use these wrap knots to finish off some of my pieces, so I'll show you how it's done. Uh, for the length of the wrap knot can vary depending on how long you want it, but for a length about that size, you want to take another cord about 40 centimeters long, and you're going to take all four cords and just tuck on them so it's pulled a bit tight. I'm going to take the new cord and form a loop like that. I'm going to take this long cord and just wrap it around and around and around until I reach my desired length. And when you're wrapping it around, just be sure to make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want to have a loose wrap knot. I like to double it up as well so it's a bit more chunky, but you could just do a single wrap so it's a bit skinnier. So I'm just going to go around once more. Okay, and now what you want to do is take this cord that you've added and put it through the loop that we made at the start. Like that. And just hold on to the other end. And now we're going to pull on the short end until the loop comes completely through. Okay, just going to tug on that, make it really nice and tight. Okay, and now you could tie a square knot underneath if you wanted to add um, a bit more security on there. However, um, you can just cut the cords. So just going to cut that as closely as I can and cut all of these bottom cords as well. And there you go.